Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to another Yashit uh, lap guide. My name is Sir Fosh and today we're taking the Lamborghini Huracan Evo 2 around Gungaro Ring. Uh, definitely not my, one of my favorites, but uh, some people seem to enjoy driving this track. Racing here pretty rough, uh, not a lot of overtaking opportunities for these GD3 cars. Uh, track itself, very technical. Uh, really gonna test your patience on the throttle with all these hairpins with different diameters uh, so that is probably the biggest uh, thing to really uh, nail to get lap time here also has a pretty nasty chicane here in the middle uh, will be interesting if I can do it even remotely well in one of these laps uh, I did fail to do it super well on the hot lap but uh, Pretty tricky if you can, you kind of have to half car uh, both of the sausage curbs. Uh, setup that I've made for this is very safe, um, probably a bit too much so. We're also not using the Zero TC, which definitely is handicapping the setup, but I have too much skill issue to run the Zero TC. So instead, we're generally using three, you can cycle to one on some of the more easier exits well let's talk about the braking references and then i'll show the setup and then we'll send it for the hot lap as per usual so for turn one we are looking at uh, the white line on the left it goes dark and that's where we break i'm pretty sure it's like 130 140 meters that was a little bit too early a little bit nasty exit as well uh, for turn two, we are breaking for the curb here on the right side. Uh, short shift to second. You do want to sacrifice that exit for this corner, otherwise it's going to be very difficult to take it flat. For this corner, once again, breaking just a bit before the curb on the right. We can also place the car on the curb. We can cut all the way on the inside. This breaking marker is pretty tough. There isn't a good reference so it's more for the feel and for the chicane we're breaking when the red curving starts and if we do half a car on the second curve we can take it flat little break here and then a little break on the crossover want to go a bit wider than that and here we're breaking just a little bit after the curve starts really need to be careful of track limits for that exit but oh, we didn't carry enough speed once again a little bit before the curb starts is where we want to be braking here we're braking just a bit after the overhead boards go uh, past us and for the last corner braking just before the white line like a car length or so before and that is a lap guide of Hungaroring. That was a very messy lap, but this track is really tricky when the tires are warming up. The rears are set up, um, once again, very safe, very easy to drive setup for the car. Uh, running some positive toe on the rear. TC5, engine map 5 as well, to make those exits a bit tidier. Uh, Mechanical grip-wise, a little bit of spring on the front and rear. The car still doesn't really like the chicane that much, uh, even with the extra ride height. I still haven't figured out how to make it really glide over the chicane with the middle of the car, so you kind of have to have car it. Maybe there is a way, but I haven't found it. Uh, Damper-wise, kind of a classic, or a take on the meta dampers, not quite full meta, just to make the car a bit safer. And as you can see, we're running quite a lot of front ride height. And even with that, the uh, chicane can be quite devastating. At least the rear of the car is not bottoming out. So you're unlikely to have a catastrophic failure in the chicane as sometimes with the rear bottoming out and then rebounding up in there happens. Uh, but yeah, that's the setup. Very safe. So I'll leave you with a hot lap and see you on the next one.